This video has some concepts that are only found in the higher tier exam. If you see higher tier in the top right corner of the screen, then that means that specific concept won't be found in the foundation exam. Enzymes are proteins that are made by cells that are involved in all metabolic reactions by breaking down larger molecules into smaller ones or building larger molecules from smaller ones. They are often called biological catalysts because they speed up the rate of chemical reactions. There are many different types of enzymes that do many different jobs. Enzymes are proteins and are therefore made of amino acids. If we take amylase, which is an enzyme that breaks down starch, it will be made of many different amino acids that form a chain which then folds into a specific shape. Think of amino acids as Lego bricks. You have different Lego bricks as you have different amino acids. Then, depending on how you put the Lego bricks, the amino acids, together, you get a different enzyme. The special power amino acids have that Lego bricks don't have is that amino acids can fold, bend and twist. The specific order of amino acids is hugely important. You change the sequence, you change the enzyme structure and therefore change its job. Enzymes have a specific shape and the most important part is the active site. Amylase has a specific site that only lets starch fit into it and when the starch fits into the active site it's broken down into smaller molecules such as glucose. The lock and key theory describes how enzymes behave like a lock. The substrate is a specific key, glucose in this case, that fits the enzyme's lock, amylase in this case. They fit together to form an enzyme substrate complex. Then a reaction takes place which breaks down the starch into glucose. Enzymes and substrates need to collide in just the right way so the substrate binds to the active site. Temperature describes how quickly particles such as molecules move. The higher the temperature, the more the molecules vibrate and the more kinetic energy they have. Kinetic energy describes motion in this case. Higher temperature, higher kinetic energy, therefore more motion. The idea is that the higher the temperature, the faster molecules move and the greater chance they have of colliding. So enzymes work faster at higher temperatures because they collide more. The problem is the enzyme protein structure is not indestructible. If temperatures get too high, then the molecules vibrate more and more until it loses its shape and the protein unravels. The active site's specific shape is lost and the substrate can no longer fit into the enzyme's active site. If you change the lock, the old key no longer fits. We describe an enzyme that has lost the specific shape of its active site as denatured. If we graph enzyme activity against temperature, we often see this pattern. At low temperatures, the enzymes and substrates have very little kinetic energy, so there are less collisions happening. The enzyme activity is low. The shape of the active site, however, is unaffected. A bear keeps its shape when it freezes to death. As the temperature increases, the rate of collisions, as the enzyme and substrate gain more kinetic energy, continue to grow. This continues until the activity peaks and the enzyme is at the optimum temperature. At this peak, the enzyme keeps its shape and is making as many collisions as possible. However, we increase the temperature a bit further and the activity drops sharply. The kinetic energy is too high and the enzyme vibrates too much until it loses its structure. The active site's specific shape is lost and the enzyme is denatured. Boiling enzymes, for example, is a common way in practical work to denature enzymes as a control experiment when looking at enzyme activity. pH can also affect the rate of enzyme activity. This graph shows that the enzyme has an optimum pH of 2. This is where the enzyme activity is at its highest. A pH that is too high or too low can denature an enzyme. In the next lesson, 
we will look at a WJEC specified practical involving measuring the rate of enzyme activity against temperature.